here we are able to search for classes but we have a slight problem so before we do pagination as I wanted let's finish up with the search thing so what I wanted to do is right now I'm admin I can see all the classes that are available but if I'm a lecturer I should only see the classes that I lecture if I'm a student I only see the classes that I'm part of so this is why our query is like this and this works just fine the problem is when we try to search through that list uh, the problem is that if I'm a lecturer and I don't even have this class I may be able to see this class just by doing a search so I want to limit it to only search the classes that I lecture in if I'm a student only search the classes that uh, I belong to okay so the problem is here in our table if I go to let's say I'm a student I go to class students right so in here it searches by class ID because it knows what classes I belong to so it's looking for the class a place where the user ID is correct and then grabs the class ID so it's looking for my user ID and the disabled should be zero then it means that I belong to that class so the problem here is that we are not um, the problem is that in this table we don't have the class names we just have the class IDs however when searching we are searching for names of these classes so it becomes a problem to search for the name of a class in here if we only have a class ID in this table. So that is an unstart. What would happen is we would have to search for the class name in the classes here because the actual classes are in here. And once I find the name and then try to compare with the lecturer's class table if I actually belong to that one and then return the result. But that complicates things a little bit so instead what we're going to do is use a join to join these two tables while we search we're going to get the class lecturer or class student and join it to classes that way we can search for the actual column of class name so let's see how we can join two tables in our query so the only query we need to worry about is this one right here so what I would do is before uh, eliminating it I will save a copy and then let's try and change this query so the first thing we want to do is we want to select all from the table uh, now the table can either be the class lecturer or class student because this is why it's dynamic class lecturer or class student now regardless it doesn't matter the two have the similar columns so that's all good so in either of these what we are looking for is the user ID and the disabled part that's all we need but we need to retrieve all the columns but we also need to check just one column from the classes table which is column named class that's all we need mm -hmm. so let's change our query and say select all now since we're going to join two tables now I'll say select all from whatever table this is and then I'll just say join here join classes like this that's the table now I can't just join it I have to tell it where to join it where to join the two which column is similar uh, in here and on the other side so if you look at classes here the class ID is similar to the class ID in here so that's where we will join from so I'll just say classes join classes on and tell it which is class ID underscore ID is equal to class underscore ID but it has to know which class ID uh, table I'm talking about because here I'm talking about the class ID in classes and I'm talking about the class ID in the other table which is this one right here hmm 
Now the problem is this is a dynamic value, so I don't know what this is at the time, so I have to treat it as a dynamic value. So here I'll just say uh, on classes, because I know this one will be classes, dot class ID is equal to, and let me put the dynamic table, but I will put some brackets like so. Hopefully that will evaluate properly. I hope, and then put a dot like that. Okay, so hopefully that doesn't cause problems. Mm -hmm. All right, so class ID where user ID is equal to user ID. So even this user ID, we have to know where this is from. Now this one is from this table as well, because it was originally from there before we added the classes table. So let me just say, uh, user ID dot. So I have to specify which table I'm talking about from now on. So where my table user ID is equal to that. Okay, great, great. The reason I've put these brackets, it's, it's be only because this is a variable. That way it knows where to end the variable and add a dot. Otherwise, without these brackets, it would think this whole thing is one variable like that. So that's why I'm putting these brackets. Normally, if this wasn't a variable, oh, sorry, I would just write it the way I've written here, classes.classID. But because this is a variable, we don't know which table of the two we are talking about, we have to use that variable. Okay, so there we go, user ID, blah, blah, blah. Now, once we've done this, we also need to introduce both tables here and tell it which columns on each table we need to get. So from the classes column uh, table, I just need the class column. So classes dot class like this. And then, so select classes dot class comma. And from the other table, which is this one, oh, no, it's my table, my table dot star, meaning all columns from my table. Let me put the thing there. So I want to get just one column from the classes table and all columns from the uh, one of these, either of these, yes. So select this, this from my table, join classes, purple. So at this point, the search isn't working, but this should still retrieve the result, uh, the needed result of the tables currently here without using this search. So let's just see that that query is working before we add the search feature. So I want to log, uh, log in as Mr. Vibe because Vibe is the only one with a class here. So I'll copy this. Let me log out. I just want to see if he can still see the classes he is in or he is teaching. So let me go to classes. And as you can see, the query worked just fine. Uh, it retrieved one class that belongs to him. So pretty much this query is exactly the same as this one. The only difference is that I've added one more column from another table. I've joined two tables here instead of just reading from one, okay? Now, this disabled here should be from, um, wait a minute, disabled should be from this one. So I don't know why, how it worked without me putting that. So this is questionable. I should put that there like so. Maybe because disabled is only on one of the tables. I don't know. Okay, but it's working. Now, just to confirm that I'm using this particular query, let me just echo the query like this, just to be sure that we are passing through here. Let me refresh, and there we go. So this is the query that we created. So if I copy this query now, copy that query, go to my SQL, SQL tab, and then paste that query and try to run it. Let's see what we get. Okay, so it's telling me you have an error in your syntax. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes.
yes it says near user id okay so the reason it's doing that is because um, this is prepared statements and i can't do that in here so the user id in my case is let's see here um, let me just get the user id which is coming from there so i want to echo it out here so back here refresh okay so that's the user id vibe.peters and i can replace it here and let's see if i get some result so go and there we go so i did get this result right there so you see it looks like a complex query but it's all good we are mixing two tables there so that we can easily search for the correct class now once we've done this it means now we can question uh, this part so i can now copy this from here copy that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. copy that yes okay let me just paste it here for now while i think here okay so the only thing we're looking for is the user id and not um so we have our find here and we just have to replace the query this query here to be specific so only when we're doing the find do we need this extra query so i'll cut this from here and put it here okay good like that and then i'll unmute this one okay cool and i do i need this school id wait a minute am i even using it in here Yeah, which is weird. No, it seems I am not using it. I'm using class ID only. Okay, so cool. No need for that guy. Great. So select all from there. This is our original query. But then if there's a find, we change to this complicated query. And then we add one more thing to the array. Which... Here is user ID, yeah, yeah. Where is this user ID? Okay, so we added it there. All right, so cool. Let me undo this so that I can add user ID instead. So copy that, and instead of school ID, we have user ID. And then copy that as well, and add it here. Okay, so we have added our user ID. And then now, We'll add array here instead of this as usual. So array like this. Okay, cool. So back here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is good. The only thing remaining now is to incorporate this where clause in our query here. So here we have a where where is the where? So it's right here. It says where my table dot user ID is equal to user ID. And this is disabled. Let's add one more. And we'll say classes because it's in the classes table. So classes dot class, which is the column like find like so okay cool so this is what makes us search uh -huh. and then we add the find there and we'll add it to that cool so let's give it a test run refresh there we go and let's try here i'll type something and press enter nothing found good so signifying that it's working let's try first class if we can get it we can't but let's search for second class which we know that this lecturer uses actually teaches in and there we go 
Very nice. So this is how we have transformed this to actually search only classes that somebody belongs to or somebody teaches in. Okay, so hopefully uh, you have learned something new here. Let me just show you the query just in case you can pause it and make sure you haven't missed anything because it's easy to miss these things. So there is the query and I will move over like so, so you can copy it nicely. Okay, great there. I'll see you in the next video.